All right, I'm turning the water on with this whole mechanism here. Uh, kind of a quarter turn on the outside faucet. And right here I have the inhibitor mechanism, or resetter. And then a ball valve here, and of course the meter. And you see that there's flow going through it, the, little, um, the flow gauge. All right, so I made the bellows a little bit longer than what they need to be. But that should be fine. This is kind of a proof of, proof of concept anyways. But, and also there's no, nothing to restrict it from going hot, taller than these dowel pins. But, all right, we'll see how this thing works. All right, so I'm gonna slowly choke down the valve here, which increases the static pressure, which will in turn put pressure inside these bellows and raise the platform. So here I am slowly choking down the, on the valve and what you should see is a constant velocity movement at a certain threshold. There it is. Oop. So like I said, it just falls off. Alright, let's try that again. Oh, it went too fast. And, as you see, this should be a small threshold. There it goes. Oh, something's caught up. There it goes. That's the very limit right there. So this will work out just perfect for our resetting mechanism. It goes back down once I let it go forward. Of course, if there's weight on it, it goes back down. And then I completely choke it off, you'll see these bellows do like to extend. You can see some water leaking in it. Um, I just don't think I have a good process down to actually install these things. But once I figure that out, I think we're solid. Of course there's leakage here and there, but that's not a problem. But it looks like it's, it's not leaking on the seams, it's leaking on the, either of the edges, so it's not a good fit on the pipes themselves. So here and here. But I don't think there's any leakage going on here. But these things are, you can see, you know, there's some force going on there.